What's going on, guys? This is crazy, crazy, crazy what has happened today. I was, I don't write many checks. I was writing a check to one account with two local banks. And for some reason, I went into my checking app hours later, literally hours later, the same day, and the money was gone. And I don't know when they started doing that because I don't write checks. You know, I'm going to give you a little history. If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is we talk about money, how to get money, how to keep money, how to stack money. Back in the day, you could write a check on Monday and that bank wouldn't get that check until Thursday or Friday. So there was something that was called a float. And one of the things that I want you guys to understand is you're either going to embrace technology or you're going to get ran over by it. I mean, that's pretty much where you are with tech. You're going to need to embrace technology because like, Banking has changed. There is no float anymore. That money came out my account within, you know, if I had been looking at the account after I put the check into the other bank, I may have seen that money go quick, faster. And, you know, uh, the only thing I write a check for is this house. That's it. Everything else I just do, you know, I just pay them through an app or something. But back in the day, you could have checks and the bank would know. And this is still a thing with cashier's checks. Uh, for some reason, it takes a few weeks for cashier checks to get back to the bank and the funds to be deposited. And this is why a lot of people are very wary of cashier's checks. The last vehicle I bought, I used to cashier check and he called the bank. You know, it was a lot of bread, a lot of bread. But let's talk about technology. Let's talk about this right here. I got an iPhone. Uh, I just got this last month. But let's talk about this. If you're trying to make some money using tech and you don't have the latest phone, you slipping. Like one of the things, like I didn't get the last iPhone upgrade because I had the 10, but I got this one and there's some nifty little stuff in there. But we live in a world today where you could literally build a business using tech. And this is something I don't talk about because I use a lot of tech. Uh, I just signed up for ClickFunnels, which is going to be the home of the next course. And... I've been using tech since 2009. You, you guys have got to literally start listening to these tech YouTube channels, tech blogs, and start learning what's available out there because there's so many apps out there. There's so many apps like, you know, Cash App has a debit card. And that's something that I've been meaning to do. Matter of fact, if you want to contribute to the channel, let me go figure out. It's dollar sign Hustlers Kung Fu. That's my cash app. I need to put that in the channel. But let me go ahead and put this in there. Cash app. All the hustlers have Cash App, right? There we go. Because, you know, on the eve of Thanksgiving, there's a lot of people who are on planes. There's a lot of people who are driving. There's a lot of people who are already there. There's a lot of people who um, have gotten to where they want to. So... You know, I expect it to be kind of slow tonight, but I want you guys to start embracing tech and getting as much tech in your life as possible because 
you can make a lot of money with tech. I mean, with your phone, with these apps, with these podcasts. I mean, YouTube is tech. Facebook is tech. And if you start embracing this tech, because a lot of folks, um, you know, Facebook used to have all these problems. And every now and then there would be these mass exodus of people leaving Facebook. Since I was in the tech world and I was using social media, you know, it was imperative that I had, you know, my Facebook page. So I, I actually have <laughs> quite a few Facebook pages, to be honest, and they all have different purposes. Um, what's up? Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I really haven't. I, I plan on diving into ClickFunnels tomorrow because I signed up for it. And essentially, you get like a 14 day trial before they start charging you, hitting you over the head for cost. But uh, I'm going to dive in. That's my project for tomorrow. Because one of the things is like, you know, I, I went ahead and launched some videos today. Uh, some videos are going to launch tomorrow. I got to make sure that they're ready. So. You know, this goes on because I got to get ready for Black Friday. You know, I got a lot of plans. You can buy stocks with Cash App now. Hey, man. Like, you've got Robinhood. You've got M1 Finance. You have E-Trade. All of these apps allow you to buy commission-free stock. And, you know, because this is one of the things I learned for studying up for my personal finance channel. And also, let's let's go ahead and get y'all there. Because a video is going to pop for that channel tomorrow. All right, go ahead and hip y'all to the new channel. This is the new channel, Personal Finance for Couples. Go ahead and get up on this. I will be talking about personal finance tech, you know, tactics, things that you can do. Like this is up there, how to build good credit, how to make more money, how to start investing for beginners, personal finance for entrepreneurs, personal finance for couples. So there, there's going to be another video because uh, videos, personal finance, entrepreneurship, wealth development, Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday. So we're getting this started off. I'm taking the YouTube course and, you know, a lot of people, the YouTube course is like 5K. So a lot of folks ain't going to buy that. And I got invited to this course because I have all these channels and I made some connections. But be sure to subscribe to the channel. You go ahead and um, put the the link in the chat. I'll come back to the chat. What's going on, people? Black Caesar, investing in the tech is one of the f most quickest ways to accelerate your income, but tap into that Wi-Fi bread. Ganja, you can't invest in defense stocks? Oh, they, they put those kind of limitations on employees? Did not know that. But, you know, we live in an age and a world of wonder, man. I mean... You know, I almost titled this this stream like how a high two hundred and eighty five dollar investment turned into millions. That's what I invested in this channel. And I did not do any more reinvestment for two years. Made sixty two thousand the first year, made ninety two thousand the second year and then made one point five million the third year. It became a millionaire off of an ebook. 
Well, it was a book book. It was a physical book. The physical book clearly outsold the PDF and ebook products. I mean, hands, you know, it was like 25 to one, 25 hard copy book sales to one um, ebook sale. And I never did an audio book. So, y'all be sure to get into that personal finance channel because, you know, this is one of the things that I do. I start getting ready for the year before months in advance. I don't wait until New Year's and have my New Year's resolutions on the first. That That's wasting time. You got to get it, man. You got to be on it. How many of y'all are making plans for your New Year's resolutions right now? How many of you are starting to get ready? And for those who are just coming in, how many of you knew that money moved out of your bank account that fast? I wrote a check today and put it in another local bank and that money's already out the originating bank. It's already out. Cause I went in there cause I was just looking at some stuff and I was like, that check cleared already. And you know, I'm not in the habit of writing checks when I don't have a good thing. Good thing that I don't do that. I'm not in the habit of writing checks and I don't have the money in there. Uh, cause I knew that it has sped up, but I didn't know it was like instant. If you write a check and don't mail it and you deposit it in another bank and you got, you know, I've got, a few bank I got three bank accounts here. I'm a member of a credit union and two banks. And one of the things that I do, and this is a move that you can do, if you work from home, you can rent your house out to your business and then write off all that. Because that's what I do. Because essentially, I have my company write a check to my real estate company for the rent of this place to create a tax advantage for having this place. And we'll do it again at the next house. What's up, Apple Mac? All right, Mario from Italy. Appreciate it. Riddick, I, I never put much in the real estate real, you know, resolutions myself. All right, Thomas Dickerson, that's what that that's 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 the way to do it, because one of the things is whether you start an online business or an offline business, you should be invested in tech. Like uh, when I get into, because I'm going to sign up for the Robin Hood app, I'm going to start investing some money, buying some stock for the channel and you know, I'm going to do that because I have seen the pathway. Just see, I deposited a check from through my bank's app and used it instantly. It's just that quick. Just T. I mean, it blew my mind. I mean, cause I, I have one bank, which was my, you know, where Mac daddy media's accounts are. And I have another bank where the, um, cause these are two separate banks where the real estate company is. And I had Mac Daddy Media write a check to the real estate company to pay, you know, for this place. And that check, it cleared already. It cleared already. It, it, it blew, my mind was spinning. I was like, good Lord. When did they start doing this? Because I missed it. I don't really know what time I'm going live on the next channel. Thank you, Apple Mac. Um, Cause uh, I'm going to have to have some videos for tomorrow that are already queued up for disruptive mail, the personal finance channel and this channel. Uh, this is one of the, the big things cause I'm starting to enjoy this stuff again. I'm starting to have fun. I'm starting to really appreciate the craftsmanship and hopefully you guys 
will like the upcoming videos in the way that I do them. But, you know, you guys have got to embrace tech. And, you know, like I know, this is the night before Thanksgiving. A lot of people are traveling. A lot of people are prepping. A lot of people at the grocery store. A lot of people in the kitchen. And, you know, you know, Thanksgiving is a funny holiday. Because you got all this big buildup. And, like, people, because I, I know several people who are already where they're going for Thanksgiving. They've been there for a few days. And, you know, the kids are out of school all week. I didn't know that because Thanksgiving is just Thursday and Friday. But the kids are out of school all week. Darty Coats. I use Robin Hood and Weeble for my day trading, making 75 to 100 bucks a day. All right. Engineer cannabis, every company, big or small, so tech company, Chick fil A, hires tech, tech guys from data scientists to software. You need them. Thank you, Mario. Stan the man, this is the golden area. If you're a software developer, a lot of problems with being soft through tech. People making millions from YouTube free content market. Absolutely. Brolistic. I use tasted works when I'm trading options or, or futures. I'm squeezing out premium like it's toothpaste. Well, Black Caesar, you know, essentially you should have the five checking accounts at one bank. So that's typically, and we, you know, because uh, essentially that's going to be about personal finance because we're going to get deeper in that. I've been having conversations on my Facebook page and people have been talking about like paying cash for a car is absolutely impossible. Paying cash for the car you want to drive, you want to drive a Jeep. You want to drive a Benz or Mercedes? Um, yeah, most folks can't come up with 50 to 150K for a brand new car. But you can come up with $2,000 for a get around car, point A to point B car. That's what we used to call them. That's all you need because you don't have enough money to be out riding in. I mean, because one of the videos I'm probably doing for personal finance channel is like why you shouldn't buy luxury cars if you make X. I mean, I have an X5M to put new tires on that car. Let's see. Let's see. Because um, I just dented a rim, and the tire was 385, 385 times 2 for the rear, plus probably 650 for the front. So it's 1420 just to put tires on my vehicle. You can't go to Pet Boys and get the cheapo special. Lewis the Stream, Will Roundtree is one of the best guys. They have to talk about real estate and using the bank's money to invest. All right. Glenn, is selling info products better than selling physical products in your opinion? Well, that depends. Are selling info products a strength of yours because there's you get two guys you got one guy who can kill it with info products you got another guy who can kill it with a shopify store and selling drop shipping so which one plays to your strengths like let me tell you why i'm so good at selling information products i use information products i'm taking the youtube course right now see this is one of the biggest problems you got people out here who will never, ever buy a course, but they want to sell courses. You already wrong there. Uh, like, I know Daryl Leaves. Daryl Leaves buys a lot of courses. So one of the reasons is I believe in online courses. So I'm operating from a strength. You know, if you're just like, hey, I'm going to create an online course just to make some money, you really don't care about the results that your students get, they ain't, they ain't really... The thing for you to do. And physical products, in my opinion, are easier to sell than information products. Way easier to sell. 
I just have a content marketing machine. Mara, with this tech arena, people are making hundreds of thousands every month. It's just facts, yeah. AJJ Poole, you know you get super hate for telling folks they shouldn't have certain cars due to their income. Get the mods ready. Man, like, you know, Omni and the Hellcat. <clears throat> A lot of people have made videos about this guy. I don't hate him. I'm, but I, I'm, I'm just like the. To me, the whole channel was, I'm going out and buy a, a brand new car and I'm gonna drop a bunch of money. It was a stunt channel, and I wonder if he's gonna be able to keep that channel going, because he's been doing these live streams and the views have been going down, down, down. So I wonder if he's gonna be able to keep the interest without the stunt, and if you know people really love him being who he is okay so you know we'll see where that channel is six months from now because i mean i'm going to buy a ferrari i'm going to buy a lambo i mean if you just do put in lambo put in porsche put in any of these high performance cars like if a guy does a review like hey my brand new porsche 911 carrera 4s that video is going to have 50 to 100 and some thousand views. Just on that. So, you know, a lot of people, because a lot of people is like, you know, I, I'm not going to say anything bad about the dude. I'm just saying the truth. He never really put out how he made money. Because that was the thing. Like one video was talking about like how I make money. And he, he never actually said, like, I'm Glendon Cameron. I own Hustlers Kung Fu, Life Skills. Hustlers, a.k.a. Hustlers University. I sell online course products, courses to teach people how to have better lives. Very simple, easy to understand. You, you could never get that from him. And I'm not really shocked what happened happened because here's something with the government. He knew this was coming. If you got issues with the Internal Revenue Service, they will they will send you letter after letter. This was not a surprise. He knew this was coming. And then they got warrants in the feds. You know, the feds have a 93 percent conviction rate. They don't take cases to court. They can't win. It's very rare that they do that. So that I mean, they got a judge to sign off on the warrants to seize all his stuff. They got a case. And I'm just sitting there like, OK. You know, I mean, Thomas Dickinson, the candidate attracted the views are going now from his channel. Like, like what I said, I'm wondering if this is going to be keeping on. Because if you want to start a stunt channel, they're going to grow very quickly, like tall guy reviews. He just rented his girlfriend a Bentley. He, and the title said, I'm getting a Bentley for my girl. But he went ahead and rented a Bentley. And she like clowning, laying in the car. And, you know, I, I'm like, when I see Tall Guy Reviews, Omni and the Hellcat, I realize how poor and desperate people are. I realize that. Lewis, the stream TV, he said in his last few videos, he was doing IPTV service and vaguely he played in the user loop. He said he never got a, a CEs and assistance letter, but I'm sure he did through email. He never checked. If they got him on copyright issues, I guarantee you he's got emails. I guarantee it. When I wrote my first book, I found a website that had passages from my book and I was on it. I, I sent them something. I was like, cease and desist, take this off. And they had to take that stuff off their website because I was going to go after them. Riddick, they have a case for him on the taxes and running an legal IPT service. He can't beat both. Uh, I doubt he's going to beat one. 
Ganji, my uncle went to prison for no reason. The feds claim he had tax he had tax files on his computer in 1997. He believed that the Fed found it on his computer. He doesn't know how to use. He ran away. All righty then. Facts: The RS is a slow moving freight train. He knew they were coming. All right, like I said, this he knew they were coming. I've had tax issues, and they will send you letters. And what they will do, because this was before I became sophisticated, the Internal Revenue Service will file your taxes for you. If you're in a situation, because, see, uh, I went ahead and sat down to someone because I didn't file for a few years, and I just went ahead and got all the forms and filed and just did it. And, see, if they file, because here, here's a little lesson for you. The Internal Revenue Service only has so much time to come after you after you file your taxes. If you never file, they could come after you forever. But if you file, they only have so many time. And like tax liens can come off your credit report. But once again, you know, like I said, like Agent J. Poole said, the Internal Revenue Service is a slow moving train. And I wonder if his channel is what caused attention to him. I mean, come on. Every week he was buying a brand new car and paying cash. I mean, giving the pizza guy a thousand dollar tip. I know that's like, you know, man, I wish that would happen to me. But there's a reason that people don't tip the pizza man a thousand dollars. It don't make sense. If people stay at the course of implementing delayed gratification, managing their money and making more money, they will have the car of their dreams. Most people are trying to purchase expensive items to impress people. What's up, Douglas? Gunja, hell, my mom didn't file in 2015 and filed last year. She didn't go to prison. She finally filed. It. Like, they don't put you in prison for not filing your taxes. They put you in prison if you concoct a scheme to not pay your taxes or Willie Nelson. Let's see. Willie Nelson. Did Willie Nelson go to prison? Willie Nelson has he went to jail for the weed. Willie Nelson going to jail for taxes. Uh, Willie Nelson. It's tough to be mad at Willie Nelson. So Willie got in tax trouble. His friends were there to bail him out. After the IRS hit the country crooner in 1990 with a bill for $16.7 million in unpaid back taxes, Nelson had to hand over many of his possessions to stay out of prison. All right, uh, this will happen. Uh, the trouble began when the IRS decided that the tax shelters his accountants set up were not valid. They negotiated at sixteen million to six million. So Willie Nelson owed the Internal Revenue sixteen point seven million dollars and didn't go to jail. They don't put you in jail for having owing taxes, and you know they they when you concoct a tax scheme. And I don't know if dude did that or not. I'm not saying he did. I don't know. That's when they start putting you in jail because the fact that they seized all this stuff and they're going to sell that stuff at auction. Some people are going to get some nice deals on some nice rides. They're going to sell it at an auction or one of the government agencies are going to use those cars for work. It's kind of crazy how they work.
King of Clutter, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, they just don't come after you for no reason. Wesley Snipes, they got him. King of Clutter, I have grown so much because of you and your storage video. Still remember when you had the store. You the man, boss. Keep grinding. Appreciate that. Yeah, Willie Nelson was it was it was something crazy for Willie. Born Majesty, they suspend your driver's license and lock your bank accounts. Oh, they did all that. What's up, Jacob in Vegas? Keith Wilson, tax evasion versus non filing. More so if you allow them withhold, you would probably get a run fund, refund on back years. Keith. People who uh, had tax trouble Willie Nelson, Wesley Snipes, Lauren Hill all pulled an okie doke on tax return and all went to prison. Good luck. Hobbs, Bishops, King of Clutter. Y'all haven't seen you guys in years. Oh, the Revenant RS ain't no joke. Been the bartender. Omni gonna be living that van life. <laughs> I, I'm just curious to see without the stun if, how the channel does. Because that was one of the reasons I never subscribed to the channel. I watched it because it was popped up in the recommendations. But I mean, the channel grew to half a million subscribers in six months. We going to see if that keeps going on without the stunts. I mean, one video he was talking about, uh, God told him, God did this to him so he can show us how to come up. And I'm like, you know, typically it's going to be hard for him to come up with that kind of ideal because Apparently, they seized all his cars, all his rental properties, all his properties. So he he ain't really got nothing to start with. So it's going to be interesting. Child supporting RS in the same family, taking your money. <laughs> yeah, Lauren Hill was like smoking that ganja, man. She was smoking that ganja. But, you know. Once again, look, let's look at Omni from a different light. He grew to half a million subscribers in six months. Tech. A lot of people are sleeping on YouTube. I mean, oh, I, I'm going to tell you all some funny stories. I met this girl years ago when I first started YouTube. I was about my third year. And she's like, you do YouTube? Because at the time, it was like Reply Girl. It was Respond Girl. You know, it was a lot of kids. And she said, how old are you? I think I started YouTube when I was 42. So I was 45. And I told her I was 45. She said, you 45-year-old grown man doing YouTube? And I was just like, Yeah. And she 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 just had such a problem with how I made my money. And this is the thing. I saw her recently. And she was like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, oh, OK, because I saw her down the street at Whole Foods. And, you know, one of my neighbors were in there. It's like, hey, how you doing, Glenda? And I was like, how you doing? oh, that's one of my neighbors. Oh, I just live around the corner. And then she, she you know, how women like to qualify stuff. You live in an apartment? I said, no, I live in a house. I live in a 5,000 square foot house sitting on 1.5 acres around the corner. And I just, I just rubbed it in, rubbed it in like, yeah. Uh, I said, that YouTube money, good. The YouTube money got me all that and walked off. Her silly ass.
Lewis the stream. I don't know if he's got a stash. You can't be making hood moves in the new world that's ran by Wi-Fi bread. So once again, like YouTube, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, they're print, they're they're creating millionaires. You got you you know, and because these kids don't have these 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 limiting thoughts. They don't have the limits. Mind. They don't. They're just like, hey, I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna shake my stanky leg on YouTube, because one of the things I watch, and I watch a lot of these videos of people who've been paralyzed, amputees, because when I see someone, I saw this girl, man, her story was so sad. She got robbed and pushed into an in the path of an oncoming train, and the train literally amputated her legs. Someone did this intentionally to her. And, you know, how mean, how much disregard do you have to have for another human? I'm like, that's, you got to be like seriously mean to push somebody into the path of an oncoming train. That's just, that's a lot of hate. And the girl, you know, you know, she got really emotional when she was talking about what happened to her. And then she came back and I'm just sitting there like. Because I watch these channels to see the battles because it's mostly young people. You don't really, you know, there, there's this one guy. He got sick and he lost his legs and both his arms and his his woman is an amazing woman because she stood by him. Cause they have a kid and she's like, you know, I still love him and his, his face. I mean, all kinds of nasty stuff. And I just see these things that happen to these people. And I see these people stand up and go out in public with these hideous conditions. And that takes so much courage and bravery. And these people inspire me. Cause that's what I was watching, you know, when I was recovering. All right, what's up, Isaac? Paul Brown, too much stun and the wrong kind of attention, just like them dope boys. Yeah. Ganji, that's why I stay away from the edge of the subway platform when I was living in New York City. I mean, how mean do you have to be to push somebody? And this is something that, you know, for my generation, we had a healthy regard for human life. I mean, you just, you know, guys wouldn't be walking around with guns to shoot somebody in somebody's life over a little stupid remark or something. And, you know, like in Chicago, a lot of those young cats just have no regard for human life, none whatsoever. Bang, bang. You gone. Just because you, you said something. But, you know. The tech thing ain't going to stop because let me give you all a prediction what's going to happen. And it's already happening in New York, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, and Seattle. That the cities are going to be the, the, the dwellings of rich people. About 30 years from now, ain't going to be none but rich people in the cities. Poor people will not be able to afford, in the, to, afford to live in the city. Which is reverse migration because everybody left the country uh, Alabama, Mississippi Georgia, Florida to move to the cities to get jobs and now they're leaving these cities for Alabama North Carolina, Texas Iowa, people are leaving these places to go to a lower cost of living but if you don't embrace tech and you don't start a company it's going to be very challenging unless you just have a really, really good job where you live in the city. Stay in the man, health is wealth, declining health and health conditions is worse than being broke. Absolutely. Ganja, those people scare me. 
Uh, ben the bartender, I know who you're talking about. There's this Australian dude with no arms or legs and is a motivational speaker. Sean, San Francisco's already there. Like a one bedroom in San Francisco is gonna cost you thirty seven fifty. You know the mortgage on this house is four thousand dollars. A four bedroom, five bathroom house sitting on one point five acres. That was one of the reasons that um for me to have this similar situation in California, I'm looking at four to five million dollars in higher property taxes, much higher property taxes. Stand the man, a generation, there's two extremes, the savages and the snowflakes. What, what? That's crazy, man. But you guys have got to start infusing tech and like, you know, after this YouTube course, because another module re has released, I'm going to go through that. And I'll be working on that during the holiday because this this holiday, your boy going to be crunk, going to be working. Um, I'm just going to chill and work. Uh, probably going to work out tomorrow. I did two workouts. I usually take a day off, but I'm going to probably push that to Friday. Or I may push it to the weekend. I may work out tomorrow and Friday and just push my rest days to the weekend and start all over money. But, you know, I'll be putting together stuff because I'm thinking of doing, I don't know. I got to see, I got to go into ESPN, see what football games are going to be on. Because that's one thing that I, I've done this year. Because, you know, I don't really do too much on Saturday. Because I'm watching college football. So let's see what games are on. Whoa, we got Chicago, Buffalo, New Orleans. We got three games on Thanksgiving. Chicago at Detroit, Buffalo at Dallas, and New Orleans at Atlanta. I don't know how Atlanta's going to do on that game because uh, they, they acted like they were a different team until they ran into um, Tampa. And Dallas, Dallas is... They just can't seem to get over the hump. Let me see what kind of college games are going to be on. Ole Miss and Mississippi State. I think they call that the, I forget what bowl they call that. Oh, man, we got a lot of stuff going on Friday. Oh, man. All right, because I, I may do a live stream. Friday, I may do an extended live stream Friday. I, I haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, downtown Chicago's crazy expensive. No, man, there's still a lot of money out there, Stephen. And you don't have to navigate dog and human poop. Good Lord. It's that. I, I keep hearing that. I keep hearing people like go to San Francisco and they're like stand on the street and it's like they smell pee. Black Caesar, a studio apartment in lower Manhattan in the Chinatown section, 3500 a month. Yeah, Seattle's been that way for years, thanks to Microsoft. Buy a chateau in France, two hundred and eighty million. I think not.
Apple Mac, I'm going to tell you, uh, when I lived in San Francisco back in 97, the studio apartment was 1000 a month and parking was an additional price. Now it's like three, 3K a month. Uh, I, you know, because, you know, there was someone who disagreed with my assertion that real estate is just not going to take the big hit that it took. Where I used to live, and I lived in an apartment that was like 1100 when I left. That same apartment's $2,000. Seven, eight years later. Stay in the man. I've been selling pre-built websites, templates, and freelancing. Tech skills is going to be vital for the future. Stefan, that's a good question. <clears throat> the egg bowl. Okay. Lewis Dream TV Omni just made a video saying stop listening to fake sources. When you get a lot of attention, man, you can sometimes get the wrong level of attention. Some people know if you want to live in New York, it's going to cost a grip, man. Keyboard deals. I'm in San Francisco now smelling piss. Good Lord. That's terrible. Come to Texas, live like a king for 200K. I am not messing with no chateaus. But, you know, tech is where it is. And um, this is one of the things that you're going to have to start learning about and school yourself on how to use tech to make money online. Because I use, like, I'm going to have to write it down because I, I use ConvertKit, I use MailChimp, I use Thinkific. I I got away from Teachable because I had that problem with my website where the domain name just disappeared. You couldn't access the website. And then the people had to sign in through Teachable to get into their course. And it just happened. Something broke. And nobody was able to give me any answers. And I was like, okay. And that's never happened with Think of It. But it's going to be um, crazy, man. So what are y'all doing for Thanksgiving? How many folks got the turkey, turkey day at their house? How many folks are coming to your house for turkey day? Because nobody's coming here. Keyboard DFS, that is crazy. LJ, I use YouTube. Your boy Rich, whenever I'm downtown in Chicago delivering, I see all the lost souls and hopelessness. LJ, I created this whole YouTube channel to promote my book. And my book sold well for almost five years. All right, BK Pro, my, the, the youngest know this. Lance, me, 10, I'm eating, all by my, I'm eating it all by my damn self, ganja. I'm heading to my aunt's for turkey day. That boy Omni knew was done when he couldn't answer a straight question about how he earns money. Someone should have hipped him to this channel. Man, he wouldn't have listened to me. Man, I'm studying these stock charts on Thanksgiving. All right, Stefan. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. I'm just staying here and I'm working. Um, my girl, she's working too. She's actually going to do a double. 
so we will see. But, you know, there's just a little chit-chat about what y'all need to be focused on. Asian J. Pool, I'm cooking for Thanksgiving just for my wife and kids. The unwelcome sign is out. <laughs> you sound like someone posted on Facebook that typically people get tired of guests and stuff after four hours. And I'm just sitting there like, what kind of horrible people are these? Because I remember we used to go to my Aunt Evelyn's house for Thanksgiving. We'd be down there eight hours. Art Austin laying up with my boo watching football Friday back to business. All right, Art. Uh, when my business partner was alive, I used to do Thanksgiving with her family every year. And now that, you know, their kids are older and their daughter moved to South Carolina, so typically they go where she is for Thanksgiving. You know, those big Thanksgiving get-togethers, they're getting harder and harder to come by. Black Caesar, I have several invitations, but I'd rather work on some modules than looking to setting up a few investment accounts. Hey, I, apparently I ain't going to be the only one working tomorrow. A lot of folks are getting it. You know, I think Thanksgiving is such an inconvenient holiday. I mean, it happens on a Thursday. Like, all my friends with jobs, they they, they took the week off. They took the week off. They where they are. I got one friend who will be back Friday night. Um, I'm just working, 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 putting together some stuff because the days go by so quick. They really do. Just picked up a nice cold cheesecake, your boy Rich. What's up, trending business? Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I think Popeyes is going to be closed. People and times are not the same. I remember like you the good old days when you were younger. Yeah, it was different, Han. No, the rest of the family fights over dinner. I can stay home, eat, and work on that biz expansion. Man, you know, things have changed so much. keyboard Diaz when my mom moved back to Alabama Thanksgiving stop for the family I might do something like that mad animal fitness on Friday you know it's really interesting how there's usually one person who keeps family traditions alive there's this one driving person you know, it's like Big Mama. You remember the movie Soul Food? And when Big Mama got sick, the family fell apart. There's this one, usually this one driving force that gets everybody together. And, like, this is going to be my first Thanksgiving alone in many years. So, you know, I'm dealing with that. I'm dealing with all of the situations that are going on. I'm dealing with getting better and feeling better because, you know, as I was talking about another channel, I have a lot of plans for 2020. And what I'm doing is being strategic because I work on my, I work on my stuff every day, but I just don't drop it like I used to. Like, um, starting this new YouTube channel it's very interesting because there's so many people out, out there with personal finance channels 
that's not rooted in practicality, that's not rooted in sound business practices. Because, you know, everybody's trying to use Robin Hood, E-Trade, but they don't have no money, man. You know, when I was in the stock market, my portfolio was almost two million. You know why? Because I saved half my income. I invested half my income. That's how you get these big portfolios. Like there's this one guy, he has an investment channel. He's putting two to four thousand dollars a month on his portfolio. It went from twenty two to sixty thousand. Yeah. Because you're putting in a grip. A cage match. Agent J. Poole is very inconvenient. The holidays holding up a 7,000 payday for me. Oh, man, you, you waiting on somebody to close. All right, gotcha. What's up, Danny? Extraordinary money. Where do you go to learn to level top level information in business like info to operate like elites like Elon Musk, Warren Buffett? You know, those guys learn their information on the job. They did the damn thing. These guys forged new industries. The driving force will be my brother, but also he drives everybody apart. That's crazy. So once again, you know, I remember some great Thanksgiving days at my Aunt Evelyn's house. And I also remember there was this place called Breedlings. It was this restaurant that was open on Thanksgiving. And a lot of times we went there. I don't remember. My mom wasn't like the kind of roast a turkey and all that kind of stuff. She didn't do all that. I'm going to say my best recent Thanksgiving memories were with my business partner's family because her family was so tight. I knew everybody, walked in, it was cool. And after that, Thanksgiving, you know, me and my ex, we used to have Thanksgiving. You know, she would cook a turkey or something like that, and we would do that. But, you know, one of my goals in 2020 is to get out more, hence the ski trip. So, it's interesting. Happy Thanksgiving, Kelvin. Underdog Glory. Where would be the first place to learn stock investments? YouTube. Watch every YouTube channel where the guys are talking about stocks. You learn a lot in a matter of weeks. Uh, I have no thoughts on the Tesla Cybertruck, man. I, I have no thoughts whatsoever. I wouldn't buy one. It looks like a disaster. And that's just my opinion. But, you know, the last, I've been in a really good mood because, you know, I got Alexa and I'm like, Alexa, play some Christmas music. And I have Christmas music playing all day, every day around here. And then I've, um, I've moved a lot of my office from the basement and it's on these upper two levels. So like this studio, <clears throat> And I'm going to start telling more stories. Like people love the stories. So I'm going to actually start doing a lot more territory. Happy Thanksgiving, Diana. I mean, there'll be Thanksgiving in three hours. All right. 
I will see you folks later. Look for the Black Friday specials. Uh, I may start those tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll definitely be doing something Friday. So with